report submitted the long-term turnaround strategy to me on the 2nd of April, which is a 20-year plan that will see the airline evolving in many respects. But the fact of the matter is that we are already leaving the strategy. I am pleased to announce that Cabinet has appointed, has approved the appointment of Mr. Munwabi Sikalawe as the CEO designate of SAA. Mr. Kalawe therefore brings with him experience in both the public and private, extensive experience in both the public and private sectors, strong capabilities in business management and leadership, which is what we need at this present stage at South African Airways. The board will further engage him on the terms and conditions of employment as a matter of agency. But what is expected is that he should hit the ground running because he will become the custodian of the turnaround strategy. As far as what elements of the strategy the business can implement, I think that um, there's a couple of things in our business that is business as usual. We don't require a big strategy or approvals to do the right things, to fly to the right destinations, um, to proceed and progress with our refleeting exercise um, and aligning our, sh our, our route network. As an airline, a key aspect of what we do is obviously where we fly to and how we fly to it. And that's the quickest way to actually address liquidity challenges and issues within the business. We hope to conclude by the end of May in terms of a firm wide body fleet option with a recommended uh, direction to go. Now as to the related question of which OEMs are we dealing with, um, in terms of the wide body space there's ultimately Airbus and Boeing in terms of the, 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 seat, <coughs> the seat requirements that, that we've got. Um, at this point in time it would be premature to state that we've got any formal preference. For us it's really a matter of um, we've got a fleet plan, a network plan that requires certain aircraft to best service that. Now, whether that be Boeing, whether that be Airbus, really doesn't matter. The important thing, and if I can use this as a signaling mechanism to the OEMs, is their pencils need to be sharp. We can't be back in a situation where we pay, pay above market for our aircraft assets. So the manufacturer that produces the best aircraft for our mission length and best serves the commercial enterprise, uh, uh, objectives of this company is the one that we will end up preferring. Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward.